The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be free. The opening of prisons to them that are bound is here. Physical and spiritual captives will be released. The brokenhearted will be healed. God has sent me to announce the year of his grace, a celebration of God's destruction for your enemies, and to comfort all who mourn, those who grieve, those who are weeping because they are sad. He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come, and with it, the day of God's anger against their enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Your day of vindication from the Lord is here. The Lord has come to save you and defeat your enemies. The time has come for the Lord to show his kindness and to punish evil people. Come on now. Get ready to receive a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In your righteousness, you will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. The time has come for old ruins to be rebuilt and a new city to rise from the wreckage. Rubble will be made anew. Strangers shall stand and tend to your flocks. Foreigners will be your servants. Your enemies will come to care for your sheep. Your enemies will come to care for your sheep. You'll hire outsiders to herd your flocks and foreigners to work your fields. Come on now. You will be called priests of the Lord, ministers of our God. All right. You will feed on the treasures of the nations and boast in their riches. The glory once that of your captors shall be yours. Instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land. Everlasting joy will be yours. Everlasting joy will be yours. Instead of your former shame, you shall have a twofold recompense. Because you got a double dose of trouble and more than your share of contempt, your inheritance in the land will be doubled and your joy will go on forever. Your shame and disgrace are ended. All right. In the past, other people shamed you and said bad things to you. You were shamed much more than any other people. So in your land, you will get two times more than other people. Come on now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on now. Your wealth will be doubled. You will sing about your wealth instead of being disgraced. People will no longer say you are useless. You will have twice the crops from your land and be very happy. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully reward my people for their suffering and make an everlasting covenant with them. I will pay your wages on time and in full says the Lord. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. Come on now. Come on now. God is going to reward your work and give to you your recompense in truth. Your descendants will be recognized and honored among the nations. Everyone will realize they are a people the Lord has blessed. They shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed and become well known all over. Your babies, your children, things that you have birthed, things that you are birthing. Fame is coming. Fame is coming. Come on now. Glory to God. You will be overwhelmed with joy in the Lord your God because he has dressed you in the clothing of salvation and draped you in a robe of righteousness. He, come on now. You will be overwhelmed with joy in the Lord your God because he has dressed you in the clothing of salvation and draped a robe of righteousness around you. Your wedding is here. Your wedding is here. Your marriage is here. Come on now. You are like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding or a bride with her jewels. I will sing 
for joy in God, explode in praise from deep in my soul. He dressed me up in a suit of salvation. He outfitted me in a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom who puts on a tuxedo and a bride, a jeweled tiara. God has clothed you with clothes of victory. God has put my victory coat on me. Tell him God has put my victory coat on me. God has put my victory coat on me. Come on now. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. God is about to put praises on display. God will put praises on display. And I'm going to read that last part to you again before I go. Because let me serve as your, as your sign from God today. That your marriage is here. <laughs> your wedding is here. I will sing for joy in God, explode in praise from deep in my soul. He dressed me up in a suit of salvation. He outfitted me in a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom who puts on a tuxedo and a bride a jeweled tiara. My name is Tiara. And for those of you who know what a tiara is, put your crown on. Put your... <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. I'm pretty. I guess I'm pretty. <laughs> Mommy, do you 